Okay, so you want to install Payday 2 mods. Where do you start? Well, we're going to start off with the first link that I'm going to put in the description, which is paydaymods.com. This is where you're going to get the Payday 2 BLT, which is going to allow you to install more advanced mods for Payday 2. So, you're going to start off at the, f uh, the front of the page here, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says download under um, the big fucking letters that say download and that include BLT and then it's going to uh, give you a download right here in your browser somewhere right around this part and then you'll have this RAR so first if you guys can't do this if you can't open up that file and see this um, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now so you're gonna go into your browser and you're gonna type in WinRAR and then the first one that pops up in your browser for rarlab.com you're gonna click on that and then under this section you're going to look for um, the United States because that's where we live or actually English right here Cause you don't I mean unless you speak another language then you can search through this list but go for English if you're English and then uh, get 64-bit if your computer is a 64-bit computer or not computer but operating system and then what you're going to want to do is open up that um, exe and then you're going to install that I can show you the process here but I'm not going to install, I've, I've already installed it but all you got to do is hit install so um, and then close all that but after you get that done um, open up your BLT WinRAR and then you're going to go into your Steam your Steam window you're going to select Payday 2 on your list go down to properties local files and browse local files and then you'll get this window that'll pop up and you're going to drag the contents of the BLT RAR file that you downloaded the, the contents inside it drag that into your directory here when you open up the browse local files window so it seems I already I already have it installed but I'm just going to replace it but it's not going to ask you to replace it when you first do it so now that I have it installed now we're going to go into other types of mods which don't require BLT and for those you're going to want to go into your Payday 2 directory which is from going to properties local files, browse local files which opens this window Payday 2 and then you go into your assets folder of Payday 2 right click go to new folder type in mod underscore override overrides don't ignore that <laughs> um, then once you have that folder all you gotta do is go into the site that says modworkshop.net which is actually last bullet they just changed it for some reason and then you can select any category of mods you're gonna, you're gonna wanna search through so if you wanna look through like weapons weapon mods that give you like skins for your guns or just um, modify weapon why ah, modify how weapons work you can go into this section which most of them are just regular mods they're not BLT because there's a certain section for BLT mods right here but <coughs> yeah you can look through any of these get any skin you want so I can get this one simplified weapon skins open up that window in a new tab which I just right click on the link and new tab I just like doing it because it allows me to search through this list again if I want to just come back but uh yeah it puts a bunch of skins in your game that modifies the way default weapons look I believe but I can look here simplifies most of the weapon skins to make them look less busy okay never mind this is for <coughs> this is for skins that you buy from crates so we're going to find one that doesn't require crates which is most of those so 
look at this one. Cyber Midnight, aka extension. Okay, this is an extension for another mod, so we're just going to click on this mod. And then get this actual mod here. Or that's an, that's an actual mod, it's just an extension of this core mod. So, as you can see, this is a mod for your AK.762. Then what you're going to want to do is go on um, one of the mod pages that you're interested in, and then hit download. It should download something in the lower left corner here of any browser that you're using. Sometimes it could be like somewhere up here, but it's down here for me. So now we're going to open up that payday folder again. And where your mod overrides are um, in the assets folder, you're going to want for these sometimes different mods have like direction folders like readme.txt inside of the the RARs because that was a RAR I just downloaded um, for this mod so some of them have text folders that tell you how to install them like right here how to install and it tells you where to put it since we made that overrides folder that's where they want us to put it so or sometimes in the description of the mods they'll say how to install it and what it's for and what it replaces but um for this one it just tells us inside there are so now we're going to drag this folder since it says where the fuck there it is um since it says to put it in the overrides folder so get this here drag it into the overrides boom it's in there so now so that I can show you how to get a BLT mod some of them are different sometimes they have multiple folders which require that you that you uh, put them in the overrides folder and the BLT folder so let's go to BLT get some other mods here um, hmm good mods. Actually, if you go back to the BLT link that I sent you, you can go to the mods section and see straight all of their BLT mods. So, and it's much easier to search through better mods. See, I like this uh, bag contour mod, so I'm going to go after this. And it changes the way different um, types of bags look and different loot. So, I'm going to scroll down to the download section here. And then I'm going to open up the RAR it downloaded. Go into my payday directory, like I said before. And now, when you put the BLT mod in to your uh, payday2 folder from the browse local files, there's going to be a mods folder. And you're going to want to open that. And this is where you put BLT mods. If it says to put BLT mods in the BLT folder, it's referring to this mods folder. But um, since it doesn't say anything, and this is on the BLT website for BLT mods, I'm just going to put this in the BLT mod folder. So now, I'm going to open up Payday 2 and show you that it works. So before we go into the game to see if the mod works, I'm going to show you how to delete mods if you don't want them anymore. So we're going to go back to the Payday 2 folder, and now we're going to go into the Assets folder where you can install regular mods, not BLT mods. Then you go to the Overrides folder, and then you can delete any mod you want to by just deleting the folder, just deleting it. And if you want to delete a BLT mod, you go to the mods folder after installing BLT like I showed you. Click on any mod you have and deleting that as well. But say that you have <coughs> a BLT mod that wants you to put a folder inside the BLT mod folder and also the mod overrides folder, you just delete both of those folders. That's, that's all you gotta do is delete the folders from the mods that you have. So yeah. So I'm going to test this in an online session just to make sure it doesn't crash when I play in an online session with other people because that can happen sometimes and if that happens you have to do kind of like a 
a test to see which mod is crashing your game if you have like a bunch of mods but if you have a couple mods it's pretty easy to find out but I only have two mods right now I'm gonna test if together if they're going to work in an online session so I'm gonna join like mall crasher and test it out so I have my AK 7.62 rifle that's equipped and as you can see it looks just like the skin in the mod that we saw so I'm gonna load into the game here and I haven't played this game in a while so I'm gonna look like a disoriented fucking child But as you can see, the bags have different colors now, according to what they are. Jewelry is yellow. That, I guess, coordinates with it being fast to move around with. And <clears throat> I'm, I'm assuming other bags would be like red for heavy. Oh fuck, I'm getting destroyed the fuck okay so as you can see the mod works and I'm going to test some other mods just to show you guys in further detail how to do other mods okay now we're going to check out a mod called the carry stacker reloaded what this mod allows you to do is carry multiple bags instead of just one um, it has its restrictions I believe so it has different weights, I mean, just like base game, so I'm assuming that you can only carry a certain weight of bags on your back at a time, but uh, we're going to download it here, and then I'll open up the RAR, and then put it into my mods folder, which is in the payday directory, mods. Put it in there. So now I'm going to try this mod out and see if it doesn't crash my game. Okay, so with this mod, I'll wait until Bane's done talking because he has to get his fucking shit out first, I guess. You done? Okay. So now with this mod, you cannot play this with people that don't have the mod. So the host has to have the mod of this to be able to, to use it. So say that you yourself have the mod but your friends don't and you're hosting the game they are not going to be able to utilize the multiple bags on their back but say you have it and the host of your game doesn't have it you're still not going to be able to utilize it so the host has to have it and all the clients have to have to have it as well in order to utilize the, the mod so we're going to go in here and see if it works And as you can see, it works. I have two bags, three bags. How do you think you're going? Okay. So as you can see, the mod definitely works, and it was a success. So if you guys like the video and this tutorial has helped you in your adventure and putting mods in your game, then please leave a like and subscribe and then uh... share it with your friends with your father with your mother maybe maybe even with your grandpa Felix Payday too and tell him to leave a like and like again My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do.